right now in North Carolina, there are more than a million people who are between the ages of 25 and 54 that are making less than $35,000 a year. And for them, they may have very little hope about what happens next. Uh, they may be working two jobs so they don't have time to waste hoping and trying to figure out what the real solution is. They may have children at home that are keeping them busy, and wearing them out. They may not have had a very good experience the first time they went through the education system. It may just not have been for them. And so they've got a challenge. They desperately want to be able to support their family over time, and they can't figure out what they can do to get the skills they need to make more money. At the same time, businesses need more workers. Unemployment's low right now. It's not going to be low forever, but right now it's really low, and they're desperate for talent. More than 50% of businesses right now say they're having trouble finding the talent they need in order to be successful. And we know that's going to get worse over time. By 2030, projections from the My Future in C Commission are that we're going to be down 400,000 workers. We need 400,000 workers with some sort of credential beyond high school if we're going to meet their needs. So you've got workers that have tremendous desire, and you've got businesses that have tremendous needs. How do you solve that problem? The conference is about how to do that matchmaking at some kind of scale. We're going to have businesses there. They're going to talk about how important it is to promote from within. They're going to be trying to figure out how they can raise up their existing workforce so that they can take some of those higher skilled jobs that they need them for. We're going to be talking with education institutions that are figuring out how to offer courses at different times or provide more support for students that may be a little bit nervous about coming back. And not just offering two-year and four-year degrees, but also these certificates and credentials that people need in order to be successful going forward. And we're going to be talking to nonprofits and government organizations that are looking at how do they provide the supports to workers they need so that they can get child care or transportation or other supports that they need in order to figure out how to skill themselves up. Our goal is to figure out how to help workers break through this skills glass ceiling that they have. If we are do our job right, and if you're there to help us, we're going to find a way to help people begin to break through that glass ceiling and move into self-sufficiency. We need you in Charlotte, October 15th.